Hi everybody, it's a new day today. That's a reference, and we're going to see some Vikini. Maybe that's the like auto dozen. Okay. We have secret levels, we have a new difficulty. Now, we're only going to be doing the secret level. Uh, do I have the fucking audio? I do, okay. <laughs> We're only, uh, I'm fine by the way. We're only gonna do the secret level for this video, and I will do. God, it's so loud. And I will do a video. It's so loud. This game looks different. Um, I did change the bunch of settings, so that makes sense, but it looks different. Better and different. Um, I'm gonna do this level. It's gonna be a different level, a different video where I'm gonna be trying out Google. We'll see how it goes. Yep. Hello. Wow, nailed it. I've already done all the things on my own time. Be ready. Oh shit. Shotgun, wow. That's so interesting. Ah! This is exactly what I wanted anyway. Um, I'm gonna check out the alternate version soon. Spy everything with my infinite P points. <laughs> yep, forgot that was a thing. Great. That's wrong. Oh, why? Okay. What? What? And it changes with something. What? Ugh, let me do it properly. I'm sorry I'm being so silent. Oh my god, I'm trying to do that. E I will see if this is usable. Oh my god, not that it's like not good. Weird. Small range. Oh, wow, it's a bad enemy to test that on. I'm just gonna get rid of him. Oh my god. Ah, oh, 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 this is feels so wrong. I only- I fight like almost exclusively with my shotgun. With me shotgun? I really didn't wall jump there. There's no small right How the fuck am I supposed to use this? Shit, my Alec. I do get long shot. Huh. 
That's interesting. <clears throat> Let's go to a different level. I thought that was what the secret level was. I was... I was just confused. Where was the secret level entrance? I don't even know. God, I don't even know where that is. What did that change with the speed? It reminds me of a vacuum cleaner. Wow. Oh, that's so warpy. It looks different. So much time to think about this weapon. That is fuck. And that's a useless no thing. That's enough of that. Holy fuck. I'm gonna see where the secret entrance is. I looked into it. How did I never know that was there? Anyway. Here. Oh, it's open. Huh. What do we know? Binding it. Anyway, secret level. Tim. Properly. Beautiful. Um, meta be here. Beautiful area. I wonder if it's actually functioning. Does the ladder work? Hashtag the oh, does the ladder work? Nope. All right. Probably the library of Babel, and there's the trash can. That's where we are. Beautiful door, so high red. Void. 
A chess set, okay. You're reusing assets, it's beautiful. You're reusing assets in like a clever and cool way. In a wow, this is like a real place kind of way. Oh fuck, that's a lot of idols. I'm so why am I playing so shitty? Ugh. Great. Are they? Okay. That should give me health. It's a fucking pool made out of blood. Alright, game. That should give me health. What do I do here? Oh, I get. I swear to God, you could remove it in some way that I'm not clever enough. More trash. There's a lot of trash cans in this game. In this level. I suspect more secrets. It's a nice, um, very ancient looking um, wall here. Might as well have some Mycenaean walls. Ball? Ball? A piece? Wanna put it in the pool. Yeah! That was it. And a nice little song that's in the temple of the clock, I think. <laughs> God, it's gonna take so long. <laughs> <laughs> I 
those tiny tiny things count because that's annoying I can see directly into me. Look at this. That's the thing I suck up, I'm assuming. I have to do everything for like. I for every single thing. I was assuming, like, I, I saw that exit door and I'm like, huh, this doesn't feel like a secret level. And now I get it. Also, since we have this kind of very relaxing atmosphere. Upon the realization that this is gonna be this fuck, it's gonna be the final secret level. And this, and we have every weapon. And we have one of the final difficulties, and we only have one more final content drop, content drop, probably next to, probably either at the end of the year, or like early next year. Like, the development of Ultra Kill is gonna be over very soon. And that's very weird and crazy to me. Because... I don't know. I've been playing this game for four years. The game and the things that it has brought me has completely changed my life. For the better. Um, I feel like... A lot of my childhood ended with this game in a good way. When I found out about this game, it felt like a completely new chapter of my life. And... And yeah... That's a very small letter. I have always been playing it since the... Since the demo on Steam in 2019. I have been playing it for a very long time and I have always been playing it as Ultra Kill, that game that is still in development. Um, I, like, all of my life, all of my, I, my, oh my god, please. No! Please, okay, nothing changed. Whew. I have no time. Oh, that's lovely. But yes, all of my... To me, this game is in development. And it, and, and it has always been in development. And it has been in development for four years now. For no, at least, no, for longer, since 2018, I think. This game is almost defined by it being in development for me. And I have such bittersweet emotions that the game I'm coming to a close. Sooner than I realized, I just felt like the ending was always so far away from me. I felt like by the time the ending would the whole thing thing would be out, I would be so different. And I would have changed so much and I would have been over it, I guess, or past it, or, or like, or grown up, I guess. Um, I always felt like I always had an act. You know, updates were very slow, and I'm and I'm thankful for that. But I always, I never thought. I always felt like that would go on forever. I never realized that there's gonna be a time- I'm getting emotional. There's gonna be a time period where Ultra Kill is gonna just be done. And I won't have anything else to look forward to. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry, what am I doing? 
and oh, this song too. I think you get what I mean. I feel like you're gonna have a lot of new play newer players. Fuck this shit. <laughs> they didn't have the same connection as me. People who got into it last year. People who got into it this year. People who got into it when Minus Prime came out. It's still a long time ago. But to me it has it it's always been in development. And and then when it's over, it's over. I'm afraid that the game or its community is gonna die with it, and I'm gonna get very sad about that. Like I don't know what else I don't know what I'm gonna do without that. I mean I still have friends and I am separated from the community at this point in my life. But it's everything my wider social circle, like the place where I hang out on the internet in the same way that people are gonna go to like the 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 certain club to Oh, lovely. You can see through. Oh it's reflecting. In the same way that you know people go to this club every night and that's the whole social life. Like, I, if, when Ultra Kill is gonna be over, I don't know what else I'm gonna have. As a community, as a greater social space. It has always been Ultra Kill. Everything that I've ever found out of was like, oh, I found it from like, like, you know, I, I know people who play Ultra Kill. And they know people who play, and they know people who play. Oh, that's why we have the trash cans. And that's how I found out about most things. I found all about... My music taste was Hakira. My... my it has influenced my... My movie taste so much that this is what I'm studying. This is gonna be my job. Either that or music, which is Oslo mostly because of Ultra Kill. And I feel like that's gonna be over when when the development of Ultra Kill is gonna stop. Or, uh, you know, I think there's gonna be like a big explosion and new heights and popularity when the game comes out. It's gonna be amazing. But there's nothing more to continue that. And I and I think... I, I, he hasn't told me or anything. But I think that... When... When Ultra Kill is gonna be over, he's probably gonna have a big break for sure for like multiple years. And I don't think that he may make something this ambitious for a very long time. Or maybe never. This is. I have nothing to back this up, do not take my word for this at all. I just think that for some reason. You know, that's what I think. I don't think that we're gonna be seeing in like a in like. Okay, guys, next year, new project announced, new major big big game. As ambitious as Ultra Kill. I just don't think that's gonna happen. For a solid five years. If ever. I think he's gonna be making more music and more frequently, which is gonna be great. I think that. Um, Peter might make a game. I could see Peter making a game. I know Salad is making a game. Um, I don't know what Action Dog and Imp and Jericho, which is a more formal job. It's not like they get paid. I don't know the contract they have signed, but I don't know what they're gonna do after that. They're gonna be practically gonna be out of a job, right? And I have a lot of very mixed feelings. I'm like very happy that this game is out of development. It's going to be out of development. It's going to be finished. But I... But it's going to be over. 
you know? Those two things coincide with me. And that makes me sad. But proud. And I'm very proud of what this game has done. To, to the world. To me. To Hakira. To everyone who worked. To everyone who was influenced. To all the... To like... To her messiah. To... I don't know who the big community members are. <laughs> Nowadays. To, to VM. To Blue. To BGB. To Hectech. To Cabo Crow. Cabal Crow, I always say his name wrong. You know? Look at the soberest bits. Um, it's kind of the only community that I very much delved into got obsessed with and it was part of the community and it's the community I had the most influence in. I throughout its history have had an influence in the speedrunning scene and a major one. And that's something I never had before. I, I have never been as proud to for anything else that I have done in my life as Well that's fun. As some of the records I did in Ultra Kill back in the day. And and yeah, like I still, I hovered around communities a lot, I hover around Ultra Kill, Ultra, Ultra Kill, uh, Undertale, Five Nights at Freddy's, Steven Universe, I definitely lurked in that space. Ooh, I can throw him with the chess pieces. I definitely lurked in those spaces, but I never was part of it, I never did stuff. In the same way that I did for this. I own a lot of this game. And I have no comp even though I have some problems with the game like to me, I was never interested in looking cool. I was never interested in style. I always cared about being optimal or the fastest or whatever. And you know, that's why I never used the yellow... Um, fucking this thing. I never found a use for it. And I'm so used to not using it, I forget it exists even. I think that's... That's still... The, the worst quote unquote, like the most the most failed thing of this game to me and you know some things that Hakira did with the speedrunning scene like a lot of other bounce stuff got patched because it's still funny cool which is I mean that's the, the philosophy of the game I get why that happened and I'm just, I, I'm fine with it I've accepted it but you know I have slight issues with this game but I think it's bound to happen when I'm the type of person I am and I care as much about this game. Um, I don't think that the next levels are gonna disappoint. Um, I think that as the game has gotten, as has progressed, level design has gone better and better. I always think, I think the new chapter was the best ever. Um, I just think the game has gone better and better. I'm not, I'm not worried about the quality of the ending at all. It's gonna be amazing. But yeah. I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> Like in my gap between speedrunning, like two, like since 2020, one and 2022, I kind of, for a small moment, which is where I realized a lot of the things of like it started to be stylish, 
and stuff. And there was a moment where I wasn't super happy with the game. But in the past couple of months, I got into it again a lot. And now it's it's probably probably my favorite game of all time. It's the most important game that I've played than what it has done to me. <clears throat> I was cis when this game when I started playing this game. I was a different gender, you know. I, w I would say that it's like my third rebirth. That's a different story. Um, I would say it's either Ultra Killer or Kentucky Wood Zero. And it's also the last, which is what I, the point I wanted to make before. I think it's the last community that I'll be a part of. I don't think that I'm ever gonna get up, like, obsessed in the same way that I was with Ultra Killer in 2020 and 2021. I don't feel like that's gonna ever happen to me ever again. Um, the way I approach art is very different now. Even back then it was very different. And I don't get obsessed with it. Like, even my favorite movies ever. And my favorite music ever. And I would say music is my favorite thing ever. Not the fire. I don't get obsessed with it in the same way that I did with Ultra Kill. I don't think I'm, this is ever gonna happen to me ever again in my life. So dangly. And yeah, I feel like that's also like I. Th but at the same time, I could be wrong. I thought JoJo was gonna be the last time I get that obsessed over something, and then Ultra Kill happened. You know. So we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully, I'm wrong because I. It's, I love it. And I think it has been the most that you have ever been to a project, and because of that, it's why I think I'm never gonna get obsessed with something like that ever again. I feel like I don't have the capacity in me to have to put this much love into something. At least something like a not like a like a piece of media, you know. Because you, in the past couple of years, nothing has excited me nearly as much as Ultra Kill. Nothing has excited me that much in general. That's bullets. So I just feel like that part of me is over to a sense. I feel like I'm a silicon adult now. And yeah. Ah, uh, that's all I have to say. Ultra Kill is very important to me. But uh, to say, like... Kentucky Wood Zero might be my favorite game, and I might like it more than this. But I didn't get as obsessed with, nearly as obsessed with it as I got with this. I have played the game, I think, only twice. No, just once. I almost played it twice, didn't finish it, I second played it. Um... I didn't... I'm not as obsessed with it. I never got so into it. I also didn't have as big of a community, but... I never got so into it to where it kind of consumed my life. For how many months? So much of my life in 2020, 2021 was just waking up, playing Ultra Kill, sleeping, and that's it. So much of my life. I remember, if y'all remember, um, when there was a point in my life where I had a very big rivalry with Potluck, um, which we had a contact with a couple of months ago, and it was lovely. And I had a very big rivalry with him in you know, Ultra Kill. And I would just wake up, see he got a new record, go to school, beat it, come back, beat it, 
wake up cycle repeats for months. And I think I'm never... Uh, it's something I took for granted for back then. That's what I crush. And I think I'm, I'm never gonna have that again. And that has already been in the past for years now. You know? So yeah. Podcast with Susie. If you're wondering what I've been up to. Um, I, I study film now. I'm not good at making it, but whatever. You have to make a thousand bad art pieces to make a good one. Um, can I pick you up? Can I pick you up? Oh, I forgot you exploded. We. There's more over here. I have a silly idea. Yeah, I study film now. I make music. Listen to my music. G guys, listen. Buy my music on bandcamp.com. It's name your price. It's copyright free. Use it for whatever you want. Use it for commercial projects. Use it for... Use it for remix. Do whatever you want with it, guys. I'm so cool. I have ambitions of making a video essay, but I'm busy. I might do it in the summer. Um, I might be stuck in the past in some ways, but I think with it with the Uchikyo. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, yeah, I wonder if people who don't know who I am are gonna watch this, or like have, or not, or like are not subscribers, you know, or like. People who know me know. Why I stopped speedrunning. I might have mentioned this before, but now it's the time to like really get into it. Um It's a mix of changes that happen to the game. Which is I thought that was gonna get eaten up by the letter by the could I I could throw it away in here. It was a mix between changes that happened to the game, namely um, removing the Ultra Boost clip because I liked it. Hashtag unpopular opinion, I liked it. It was a mix between that, it was a mix between not feeling like I was good enough, which I was, I was, I was kind of. Um, because during that time period to when I stopped I think that was one of my last runs that I not the the one with the not the one dash one with the rocket with like the rocket out of bounds clip but the other but like the previous one the zero dash four runs um I was on a really big grind that I put uh, so much effort into. That I tried to get the, the no movement world record and I couldn't. For 
so long for 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 like a month every day grinding so much I tried to do it and I just couldn't and then and then um, as I was talking in the server that I'm doing this run no, um, Jambot I was like yeah I'm gonna start to run it and he immediately got within a day got a world record and that crushed me so much that plus slowly becoming um, burned out with the game plus plus my insecurities about not being good enough it crushed me and I just could not get into it ever since then I slowly stopped speedrunning and it stopped and I, and I stopped without even realizing and I stopped without even realizing I just stopped and, and you know it wasn't an active choice and then the rockets came out and everything has changed so much and DK who I have no hate for either DK or Jambot by the way um, DK crushed my those record attempts on 1-1 and 1-1 had always been my baby um, me and Hectech since both of us started running have been the only people to have a record almost the only people to have a record for that level and it was kind of my baby it was like that and 1-3 and now everything is so far beyond me that I cannot even and I don't have the time or energy or motivation to go back into it. I'm just like, now it's gone now. But I really loved it. It was the best time of my life, probably. Or like the best part of my life. Um, and now I see everyone and everyone's still so much better than me. Even people who aren't like amazing. And I still, and I'm still a little bit insecure about that. Like it isn't, this is really fun. And I have a really big window. And yeah. I think that's all I have. I am holy. I am hollow. My mistakes leave nothing but hate. My leave nothing but hate in their wake. An infinite pain to follow. And infinite pain to follow. I can't take any more of this guilt and regret for me. For me, there will, there is no tomorrow. I am hollow. I began to seek the end of my days, but when I started, the, but when I start, but when I stared into the abyss, the abyss had averted its gaze. That's it for this. Uh, this is now how I was expecting this to go, but that's it for now. Next video, me trying brutal. Good evening, ballet by these rainy skies.